hello friends. I bet you wonder what I've been doing with my day today. It's so good to see you. <laughs> it's a pretty day out here in the garden. Yeah, I guess you saw. Yeah, I got something in the mail today. On Sunday, we know who delivers on Sunday. But yeah, I got a nice little package we're gonna look at. We're, all we're also gonna look at some of my potatoes, okay? Come on friends, let's get to it. I don't know if we've got a good view of things here, but I'm very excited. Yeah, what I think it is. I know it is. Oh, it squeezes things down. Oh, am I gonna need scissors? Uh-oh. No, I will not. I would like to say this is as good as Christmas, but not quite. Not quite. Well, you know what? I'm going to have to get something to cut. Hold on. Here we go. We got one. All right, these are nice. I've got 10 25 gallon cloth garden bags. Oh, you can't see. Nice little size. I'm thinking of putting the potatoes in here and some other things. We'll see how this all works out. These are made really nice too. Wow, nice. Yeah. We're gonna put these in the shed for a little later. Oh, look. These come with little markers too. Almost everything I've gotten comes with little markers. We're gonna check out our sweet potatoes and I'm gonna have to come up with a better plan for these. And uh, we'll talk about why I need to come up with a better plan for those in just a little bit. But uh, let's check out what the sweet potatoes look like because I have a new addition over here as well. I have these covered mainly because I don't want the birds and anything else to eat these before they've done something. I also found a little purple one here. So we have like the regular sweet potato and then we have the little purple one. We're gonna cover them back not because I'm looking for moisture or anything. It's just I'm looking to keep them safe. I'm going to try to make them a little greenhouse or something. And here are some of my best potatoes I'm looking at. This one we harvested, so I'm for sure that this is going to give us a potato. I'm not too sure about that, but I see little eyes there. Action there. Action here. I want to show you what I found on some of my potatoes that I was, um, <laughs> that I bought to cook. I want to show you what I found and what I did with them. Here they are. I was cooking and just wanted to see what would happen. If I just took the little eyes off and put them in. That one's definitely going to be okay. Some of these others, when they get soft, I just throw them out. Here's another one. Got nice roots. Yeah. This might have some nice roots on it too. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see what we're going to do with those. And while I'm looking at those, I've got something to tell you guys. Okay. Well, friends, I want to do a little service announcement here. Um, I know some of you haven't even got anything in the garden yet, but you will have things in the garden. And after you harvest, you're going to wonder how you can keep these things. Right. The place to go is Lady Cheryl's Organic Food Forest and Products. On Mondays at 7 o'clock Central Time, she generally goes live. She has good conversations 
and she generally gives out information about uh, her canning classes then. Um, and then I've got another friend who, um, when I look at those potatoes, she has started a new channel. New channel is called Repurpose Garden and More. She's using water bottles for her planters, and uh, she's restarting a celery. So it's a very interesting channel. Hope you get a chance to stop over and see. Her channel right there. And I'm going to put a link to her channel also in the description box. And one more. I got those vegetables because I was watching videos. And I have another friend. This is her channel. But not least, we have Food Time and Garden. She has been doing cooking on her channel lately. And also she is starting some of her seeds. And I'm going to share her video because I'm going to use one of her recipes for dinner tonight. And I'll take a quick picture at the end and let you see how that turned out for me, okay? So, uh, <laughs> with that being said, I guess it's time for me to get back into the garden. Almost all the green beans quiet planted under these bricks are gone. This is why. This is what was under that brick. It's a nice little hole. It goes under all the rest of them. Yeah, I think this is what we're going to take for dinner. Hmm? That's enough that it can either go in my potatoes. Uh oh, I got some of the lights here. Mmm, doesn't that look good? Here we go. How does that look? Mmm. Well, friends, before I eat, I've got one more little thing to share with you. Monday, when I was out watering the garden, somebody peeped their little head out of a hole. I'm going to show you the video and ask you who you think that is. So um, I'm going to ask you or remind you, uh, check out our friends that are in the description box. And also tell me who that is that you see peeping his little head out in my garden. And so, um, yeah, with all that being said, I guess it's time for me to say goodbye. So um, I want to thank you for spending some time with me. I really appreciate the time we spend together and I really appreciate and you know I really enjoy watching your videos too and so until next time I guess it's time for me to say goodbye for now so bye bye friends bye bye